with Fallbrook STEM Academy News. Hello, and welcome to the first edition of the Fabric STEM Academy News. Today we're going to discuss a very important issue here at Fabric STEM Academy. The issue is the excessive amount of trash here on the school campus. That's right. We've been noticing that a lot of students are not putting their trash where it belongs, which is in the trash can. Now, let's go to Andrea Paseno with more of this story. Andrea? Hi, I'm Andrea Paseno. And I'm here with um, Mr. Nisley, principal of Fallbrook STEM Academy. Mr. Nisley, what could you tell us about Fallbrook STEM Academy's trash problem? Well, Andrea, I could tell you that I think our trash problem has been getting better. And um, I think it's due in part because of uh, Mrs. Pleat and the program that she put in place with having an incentive of music on Fridays. Have you heard music on Fridays? Dance to it every time? Yes, I dance to it every time. Very good. Well, the reason that you have music on Fridays is because you help keep the campus clean and you help keep your lunch area clean. So um, the supervisors, along with, with Mrs. Pleat and myself, we, we at lunch we make sure and we really look to see that kids are picking up their trash, taking their trash, and taking other people's trash. If they see something on the ground, they pick it up, throw it away. And if they're really good with that, they get to play music on Fridays. And the cool thing is that you get to upload songs to the playlist that Mrs. Pleat sent out. Have you uploaded songs to the playlist? No. No? You should. The, the second thing that we've been doing is um, we have some wonderful student leaders that are um, helping our supervisors at recess and lunch to help pick up trash. So they, they have vests. They have the picker-uppers, and they're going around, and they're helping pick up trash. And that is a huge help to make our campus look wonderful and and the trash is being picked up last thing is if you're walking on the halls and you see any trash just pick it up even if it's not yours right do you do that sometimes yeah but i do really want one of those picker uppers that'd be nice well you could talk to a supervisor and they'll get you one there you go <laughs> thank you mr leslie now back to the studio Thank you, Audrey, for that insightful interview. Wow, the trash around campus is a really big problem. Yeah, it sure is. Remember, kids, we need to keep the school clean and put our trash where it belongs, which is in the trash can. If we keep our school clean, we'll be doing our part locally to keep the whole world clean. And don't forget, when we show good behavior and clean up all of our trash, we get music on Fridays. Saturday, May 4th, schools from the Fallbrook Union Elementary School District participated in the Don Durham Games. The games included a wide variety of track and field events, including races, tug of war, softball throw, and long jumping, just to name a few. Some of the highlights of the events included second place finishes for the fourth grade boys and girls tug of war team. Fallbrook STEM Academy was also honored with a third place trophy award for good sportsmanship. Nice job, Bobcats! On Tuesday, May 14th, Fallbrook STEM Academy staff and students participated in, in the 2019 Spring Innovation Day. Each grade level presented their STEM projects as a way of sharing what they have 
learned with the Fallbrook community. There, are, there were a wide variety of projects on display. Some of the projects include forces, seasons, animal habitats, hazardous weathers, animal senses, human impacts, and impact on the environment, and patterns of the season and constellations. During the opening ceremony of our school, presented at a check for $900 to the Daughters of American Revolution to go towards the helping of baby elephants at the San Diego Safari Park. Way to go, Public STEM Academy. You are really making a difference in your community through your leadership. And with summer break right around the corner, we thought we'd have our very own John Max share a story with you about what he did last summer. Maybe this will give you some ideas as you make your own vacation plans. John? For summer, I went to the beach with my family. I played in the water. There was a huge wave, so we started to run. When we got back, the wave was gone. The end. Thanks for that fun story, John. All of us at the Fallbrook STEM Academy News wish you and your family a great summer vacation. Stay safe, have fun, practice habit number seven, and let's come back next. You're, at, you're energized and ready to do great things once again. As we leave you, we'd just like to take a minute to share some of the reasons why we love Fallbrook STEM Academy so much. Hi, I'm Andre Piceno, and I'm here with Ms. Polis, teacher of TK. Uh, Ms. Polis, what's your favorite thing about Fallbrook STEM Academy? My favorite thing about Fallbrook STEM Academy is the students. The students at our school are wonderful. I love them all. Thank you for that, Ms. Polis. Uh -huh. Hello, I'm Fabian Bohorkas, and I'm here with John Max, interviewing him why he likes Fallbrook STEM Academy. The thing I like at Fabric STEM Academy is robotics. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Hello, I'm interviewing Sophia Max about what she likes about Fabric STEM Academy. What I like about Fabric STEM Academy is that the teachers are really caring and they support our education and they help us when we re really are stuck on a math problem or a question. That um that they asked us to answer, and they also they just help us when we really needed help, and they're always there for us. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Andrea Pisano to see what she likes about Farbrook STEM Academy. Thank you, Fabian. What I like about Farbrook STEM Academy is the math, fractions, and the in dividing. And also, I love my teacher, Mrs. Mack. She is very nice. And I also love my report cards because I love trying my best at everything, even my tests. They might seem hard, but I get used to it. I also love how clean the school is. That is what I love about Fabric Academy. Thank you.